Hello all and welcome to another diet week. This time around, we're doing Huel. So this week I'm going to be eating a diet that involves Huel for the whole week. Um, I've got a few friends who have just started on it and they're doing quite well on it. So I've wanted to try it myself and see how I go. I'm hoping that this will be my brand new diet plan and the start of the rest of my life. Um, so I want to go through the rules of the week with you and let you know how it's all going to work. So first thing is I bought a bunch of Huel stuff. So I've got a few different flavours of the regular Huel and I've got some other Huel stuff as well, which um, you'll see as it unfolds across the week. But safe to say plenty of different combinations of it, flavours and varieties to try. So I'm very much looking forward to see what it's like. Huel is supposed to be a complete... Not a meal replacement, but a meal. So the idea is that I'll have three meals a day. So this one is the sort of normal kind of shaky one. And it's this type I'll be having for breakfast. So I'll have two scoops of that for breakfast. And then for lunch, I'll have a two scoop thing for lunch as well, which will be a different variety of Huel, which I'll show you a little later on in this video. And then for the final meal of the day, well, I say the final meal of the day. For the rest of the day, I'll be having a maximum of 1,000 calories. So I'm not just going to eat nothing but Huel. I think if I was to try and do that on a consistent basis, I would get incredibly bored with it. I wouldn't be able to last. I would give up after less than a week, probably. So we'll do 1,000 calories, and I think that's maintainable. You know, that means I'm eating 800 calories a day, which is enough to keep me going, but um, enough to hopefully lose some weight. So... That's the plan. It's a thousand calories for the rest of the day and I might break that up in any way I see fit. So it might be a couple of snacks and then a small meal or maybe just one big meal. It depends on the day, how it's going and how I'm feeling. But uh, we'll basically just go over that as we go along. Bag was a bit heavy so I had to put it down. Uh, now the final meal of the day is actually going to result in us having kind of a combined week here because what I'm doing for my main meals... It, for five out of the seven days, I'm going to be doing a sort of, I don't know how to describe it, like a batch meal. So I'm going to be making like a big batch of something. I haven't decided what those meals are going to be yet. That's still to, to come. But it's going to be big batches of stuff so that I can make tons of it, have it for dinner on the night, and then freeze a bunch. So I'll have loads of different sort of basically ready meals in the freezer for me to go and I'll calculate all the calories for them and that means I've got some of my own designed calorie controlled meals that I know that I'll be eating down the line because if this works then I'll be pretty much living off a of Huel and then a thousand calories for maybe the rest of my life who knows maybe probably not that long I'm sure I'll have days where I'll I'll cheat but not during this week and I may even add a, a progress video later on but for now we've got eight videos in total so this one plus another seven so that's seven days on the diet and then an eighth day retrospective where we'll discuss my weight loss and um, how I felt the, the week went now I said five out of seven days for the batch meal so you're probably thinking what well, those other two days so we're going to do this week in conjunction with my other channel which is SnackTube there'll be a link appearing on your screen here somewhere right now now, for those who don't know, SnackTube is my other channel. I review snacks on there, microwave meals, um, frozen stuff. I, I just review all, all kinds of stuff that I, I can find that I can eat and see what it's like. So today's meal, today's dinner, is going to be something that will be reviewed on SnackTube. And I'll point you in the right direction when it comes around to dinner time. So you'll want to head on over there and subscribe. And um, the video will go up at the same time as this one. So it'll be up now already um so this is the sunday and then the next one will be on wednesday's uh video there'll be another one which will be in conjunction with SnackTube, and that'll be on over on the SnackTube channel so i'd encourage you to go over there and subscribe and hit the bell and subscribe to this channel if you're not already and hit the bell too so i've been wanting to do another week for a while now the last one i did was the canned food bingo and that was fun in its own way and also kind of excruciating if you haven't watched that head on over to the channel and check it out um but i've i've been kind of putting it off because i've been off my diet for a while now um 
to my cost, definitely. I mean, I'm, I think I've pretty much put all the weight back on that I'd lost previously. So I'm quite heavy now and I'm, I'm really starting to feel it. So I think it's time definitely to start getting back into it, start trying to lose the weight again. The lockdown has been, I, I, I think it's more the boredom than anything else that, that I've been eating so much because the, the I'm just sitting around all day doing nothing. Can't go out, can't go to the pub, can't go to the shops really, can't go to a museum, can't go to the cinema, can't go anywhere. Um, so just incredibly bored. But hopefully we're starting to come out the end of that now. Fingers crossed. We'll see what happens. But um, I hope I don't jinx it. So I'd like to have lost a bit of weight by the time we get out. And so it's not too shocking when I see people that I haven't seen in a year and they go, whoa, what the hell happened to you? You've ballooned up. Um, so I'm quite happy to... I want to start a diet. I want to, I want to, I want to just get back into this groove and see how I go. So... We'll take you over to tomorrow morning uh, where I'm going to do my weigh-in. See how much I weigh, take a note of that. I'm not looking forward to that. That's gonna be, um, it's not gonna be very pleasant to watch. I hope I haven't gone above what I was originally when I started, but um, we'll see, we'll see. So we'll take you over to the weigh station, which is my bathroom and see where we are and then we'll just continue with the day and I hope you enjoy this series um, if you're thinking of trying Huel to see what it's like um, let me know what you think of it in the comments and um, I'm looking forward to trying this and seeing how it goes so let's continue Welcome to the Whaleway Station because I am a whale alright not looking forward to this. I haven't stepped on the scales in ages, so let's see. This is going to be bad. 288.2. Yeah, that's, um, just double check. Yeah, 288.2 pounds, which, um, isn't as bad as I thought, but it is still pretty bad. At my peak weight loss, I was at like 242. So I've put on about 40 pounds in a year, which is, um, I suppose it's an achievement in itself, but uh, yeah, not good. Right, let's get started on this diet then. Let's go and have some breakfast. So that's my bag of Huelness. Um, lots of different stuff in there, so there's a sneak preview of what's to come. Uh, but for today's breakfast, we're just gonna stick with this little bad boy here. So this one is the bog standard vanilla flavor. They do do um, an unsweetened one as well, which has absolutely, apparently no real flavor to it at all. So you can mix it up with fruit and stuff like that. But um, I wanted to try the vanilla one. It's a fairly standard flavor. I like vanilla things, so. For the first one of this Huel, I figure that's a, a good idea. So it tells you how to make it in the uh, the instructions there. It's a nutritionally complete powdered food with natural vanilla flavour and sweetening. Uh, so you just add 500 cold, millilitres of cold water to it, two scoops of Huel and then shake hard for 10 seconds. Um, and there's tips for what you can do in it. I've seen people mix it with like bananas and stuff like that and do it in a blender. And that all sounds very nice. I'm not going to do any of that just now, maybe towards the end of the week. But um, if I do obviously put a banana in, that comes out of my thousand calories for the day. So I've got my wee scooper, got my shaky shaker thing. Let's make us up some breakfast. So there it is. Huel, the first ever Huel meal. Um, it looks kind of grainy, uh, looks like there's like bits of seeds in it and stuff like that, so um, it's interesting looking anyway, it's sort of a brown colour. I've got my Huel t-shirt, got a free Huel t-shirt um, by buying this thing. What I'll do as well is I'll put a refer a friend link in the description, so if you guys want to try Huel, you can follow that link, that'll get you £10 off and it'll also get me £10 off my next order. So if enough of you do it, I might get my next shipment for free. I don't know if they stack, but um, wouldn't that be nice? But uh, yeah, let's give it a try. So this is the first ever try of Huel. Let's let's do it. I'm in, I'm interested. Hmm. Hmm. 
quite nice. Nice vanilla flavour, not overly sweet. Little bit of a powdery texture to it. Sort of seedy texture, like seed, like it's got seeds for it. That's not too bad. It's like, it's almost like eating a really thin porridge. Hmm. Hmm, it's quite nice. It's quite nice, it kind of tastes like porridge, but um, with vanilla. And uh, yeah, I don't mind that, I think that's quite good. There's lots of different ways you can do it. Apparently you can put fruit through it or you can use plant milk to make it a bit creamier. You can blitz it in a, a what do you call it? A, you know what they're called. <laughs> to make it a bit smoother. Uh, but that actually, that's all right. I'll try some different methods throughout the, the week just to see how it turns out, if it turns out any better. But yeah, I quite like that. Um, you can add more or less water as well to make it thinner or thicker. That is about the right thickness for me. It's, um, it's about, the, about the consistency of milk so yeah that's not bad i quite like that so yeah i'm really interested to try the other flavors and see how they go because if they're any as good as the, the vanilla then banging this is gonna be nice uh well next up is going to be lunch so i'm just gonna it's the first day of my holidays i've got two weeks off and i don't know what to do with myself um <laughs> so i'm gonna find something to do and um i'll just catch up with you guys at lunch it is lunchtime i think um it's been about four hours since I had my breakfast. Um, I had my breakfast around about 11, so it's about three o'clock in the afternoon. I'm starting to feel a bit hungry, so time to have my lunch. And we've got something completely different, well, still Huel, but uh, a totally different type of Huel, which we're gonna try for this. Um, I haven't had any snacks at all so far, so I've still got my full thousand calories for the rest of the day. Um, so yeah, going all right so far. I don't normally eat breakfast anyway, so, I'm not too bad, but uh, yeah, I'm starting to feel hungry, so time for some lunch. Let's see what we're having. So this is the savoury Huel that you can get. So it comes in a bunch of different flavours. I got three different ones. I think today I'll try the Mexican chilli and see what that's like. Um, so I haven't actually opened it up yet. Let's see what it looks like, if it does look like a powder. Yeah, it kind of looks like a powder, but... Um, with beans and stuff like that through it. I can't remember exactly what the, oh, that really, mm, that smells good. That smells really nice. Um, I can't remember exactly what the ingredients are, uh, but uh, you can see all the vitamins and minerals just like the last one. And um, this one you make a little bit differently. So you add 210 milliliters of boiling water and stir thoroughly into two level scoops. You can also do it in the microwave, but it came with one of these. So I've got my shaker and then I've got this bad boy for having this. So um, that one was 500 milliliters of water. This is only 210, so it's considerably less water. But it's like the other one. You can add a bit more water if you want to or a bit less. But we'll follow the instructions for today and just uh, see how we go. But yeah, there's the, the ingredients list if you want to pause and see what sort of stuff is in it. But it uh, should, uh, should be quite nice. It sounds good. Um, I suppose the main thing that I'm worried about really is the texture. Let's uh, make some up and we'll give it a shot. Right, got my Mexican chili in my nice Huel cup. This cup's pretty decent. It's warm, but it's not too hot, so you can actually carry this about. And that's got a really good lid as well. So if I was if I was working in the office, which well, I haven't done for a year now, been working from home the entire time. Um, then this would be quite handy. You could just put your stuff in there, take it to work, and then boom, all you have to do is add hot water to it. So, convenient, convenient. Um, so yeah, you add the water. There's actually a fill line in the cup, so you can just use that. You don't have to measure it out or anything. Um, give it a wee stir, and then you've got to leave it to sit for five minutes. So, yeah, it's, it's sort of, it's gone quite thick. I'd say as far as chilies go, it does kind of look like a chilli. Um, if a bit um, stodgier. Yeah, um, it's quite a uh, quite light red color as well. So yeah, I'm, I'm interested to try this. I love chili, so I'm hoping this is this is good. Here we go. So we've got our Mexican chili huel. Let's do it. Well, that's very spicy.
hmm, odd sort of texture to it. Um, some of the beans or seeds or whatever it is that's in there are quite, quite tough. So they're a bit hard to chew, but apart from that, it's quite nice. I love the flavour. It's a really good chilli flavour. Very spicy. I wasn't actually expecting it to be that spicy. <laughs> um, but yeah, very, very spicy. Mm. Yeah, I like that. I like that. I think rice would be better. Um, would give it better texture than some of the stuff that's in here, but the idea of this obviously is to make sure you get exactly what you need to fill you up and to give you all of your necessary proteins and nutrients and all that sort of stuff. So I can understand why they've got to have all this stuff, but because it's got such a strong flavor, a strong chili flavor, it really helps because it's lovely. It does taste really good. Mmm. Texture's not unpleasant, it's just just odd. Just a bit, not what I'm used to. But, no, I like that. Very, very nice. So, the question is, will this fill me up until dinner time? Because it's not a huge portion. Same amount of um, powder as I did for the breakfast one, but like less than half the amount of water. So, doesn't seem like as much. But, yeah, fingers crossed, hopefully it does. And we'll wait an appropriate amount of time before having dinner. See how hungry I are, and if I need a snack, I'll, 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 I'll say so. But uh, yeah, nice. I'm liking it. So you might be wondering about what I've been drinking during this. Um, I'm just drinking. This is lemonade, so sugar-free lemonade. Um, that's all I've got in the house, really, apart from diluting juice and water. So I've been drinking this. They say that uh, on the website it says to help curb your cravings, drinking a. Um, a drink, a fizzy drink, which has no sugar in it, um, can be quite good for that. So that's what I'm drinking. I'm not going to limit myself on this diet to just drinking water or something like that because I feel like that would make it a lot harder for me to stick to it. So this is what I'm drinking. And it's very nice. Nom, nom, nom. So I wanted to talk a little bit about Huel, just for the people that don't know about it, because they came with a, a leaflet here, and um, all the information about Huel is available on their website, so you can just go on, you can see all the different flavours that they do, they do a diff bunch of different products and stuff like that. Um, when you sign up, you get, you get a free shaker, so you get the shaker for free, and you also, if you buy the hot and savoury, you get the, the black hot and savoury pot thing for free. So... That all came free, they gave me a bunch of scoops for scooping the powder, again, completely free of charge. And, you know, there's just, um, there's loads of different varieties, you know, the, there's the normal grey one, which is, in fact, I think they, they, they've got, uh, I think I might show you in here what they are. Yeah, so you've got the normal grey powder, they've got the black edition, which has fewer carbs and more protein, so that's more designed for... Um, like people who want to work out, like build muscle and stuff like that. I've just gone for the regular one because I wanted to try the classic Huel and see what it's like. Um, they've also got ready to drink ones, so you can just buy bottles of it to drink, so that's for a bit more convenience. And then they've got bars as well, which I think are supposed to be for snacking more than anything. But uh, I didn't get any of the drink or any of the bars, so that's something I might try in the future. Um, for now, I just got two, because in each subscription, you get two bags of this one. And then for, there's also the other range, which is the hot and savory range, which you get three bags um, for each subscription in that. So I got three different flavors, including the Mexican chili, which I tried already. So we're gonna try all the different flavors. We might even do some combinations. And I've also got another thing, which is a packet of flavor boosters. And there's 10 different flavors in there. I don't know if I'll have, I haven't worked out the maths, but I don't think I'll have the chance to try all 10 of them during this week, but I'm gonna try the ones that I think I will like the most. And um, you basically just, you mix them in with the, the grey one, with the, the grey fuel packet. Or the black one, if you buy the black one. Though I imagine if you put a strawberry booster into a Mexican chilli, that would taste very nice. I mean, you never know. But, uh, yeah, so it's um, it's an interesting idea. 
Um, I've heard mixed reviews about it. My friends seem to like it so far. Um, they like the flavours and they, they, they like the convenience of it. Because that's the main thing. You know, you're basically just putting powder, boom, bit of water, and you do that every day for your meals. Requires you to have very little effort on your part when it comes to making your meals and counting the calories as well. Because every scoop is worth 200 calories of any of the different varieties, which is, which is good. You know, very easy to just count it. And then all you have to do is, if you're not eating fuel, like for all your meals is just count the rest of the day which is basically dinner and a couple of snacks maybe um i haven't had any snacks at all today so far so i'm okay um so yeah it's basically there's, there's a lot of stuff on here about you know how much it sort of would cost per meal so each one of those gray ones is working out to about one pound 32 per meal and then the hot and savory two pound 35 per meal you can go on the website and see all the prices for yourselves um but ultimately, you know, that's that's not too bad. I think that's probably maybe a little bit more expensive than I would normally pay for food. But on the same token, I would tend to overindulge sometimes, so I end up spending more. Or um, also just the fact that the convenience of it makes it makes it worth the extra money. So, yeah, the, the leaflet comes with a lot of information about the products. Um, there's apparently a 10% NHS discount, so if you're in the NHS, you can get 10% off. And a 10% student discount as well. So, um, plus, of course, there's the refer a friend, which again, I'll put a link in the description. So, if you want to um, use that, you can. And uh, yeah, that's Huel. Lots to learn. There's loads of stuff on the website, lots of tips about dieting and that kind of stuff. And um, I'm interested in it. Or oh, you even get a, a free t shirt when you sign up. You can go for a black one or a grey one. I went for the black. I'll be honest, this is a this is a 2XL, which is what I, I normally get. And it is a it's, a, it's obviously a form fitting one, a tight one. It's made of this sort of lycra stuff. And for me personally, um, I don't feel comfortable in this at all. I'm going to I'm gonna wear it for today, just seeing it as it's the first video. Um, um, my, my belly hangs out a wee bit at the bottom, um, but luckily it's quite stretchy, so I can kind of stretch it over and tuck it into my trousers. But um, yeah, if Huel works, we'll shrink down and this will fit a lot better. And that's um, what we're aiming for, to be able to fit back into some of my clothes that I bought when I was when I was a lot smaller. Um, I've, yeah, cause I, yeah, put on a lot of weight over the course of the lockdown but uh yeah that's it um next update will just be on dinner and what i'm doing and that will be in I'm trying to think of the word um conjunction is that a word it'll be with my snack tube anyway i'll be reviewing something on snack tube so you'll want to head over there to watch it but i'll i'll let you know when that's coming so this is what i'm doing with my time today playing through assassin's creed revelations i um I've just recently finished 1, 2, and Brotherhood, so I've never played the Assassin's Creed games before, apart from the first one and a bit of the second one. Because um, after the first one, after I played that the first time, I wasn't really that interested, but now that I've gone back and played them, I'm actually really enjoying them. I mean, the, the first one is still complete garbage, but uh, 2 has probably been my favourite one so far, and this one's definitely a, set, a step up from Brotherhood graphically. And um, I am enjoying it. Plan is to work my way through every single Assassin's Creed game. Um, we're just taking them one at a time. I've got Assassin's Creed 3 sitting there for when I finish this. Um, so that's uh, that's what I'm going to be doing for my two weeks while I'm off on off work. So I've cracked and had a snack. I um, was starting to feel quite hungry. So I had some of these, some Pringles bacon mac and cheese flavour. I've... Um, Pretty much already eaten most of this can so there was 25 grams left so i've had that i've counted out what i'm having for dinner so i had the calories left so it's not a big deal and i've still got about 200 odd calories left something along those lines so i can still potentially have a wee snack later on as well after my dinner so i'm all right i'm not hungry just now i'm okay it's almost seven o'clock um so i'm just holding off I'm gonna have dinner Hold off as long as I can. I'm not going to do it until I'm hungry. So, yeah, that's it. Right, it's about eight o'clock, so time for dinner. So dinner today, I'm going to have some chips, some corn, some carrots, and then a mystery item. So if you want to reveal what this special item is, you'll want to head on over to SnackTube because I'm reviewing 
this item here on my snack tube channel there will be a link in the cards a link in the description so head on over now or after this video is finished and check out my review of this special thing well, it's about 11 o'clock now and um been a few hours since I've had dinner and I'm starting to feel a little bit peckish so I figured I would have a snack which will end up being my last snack of the day. Snacks, plural actually. I'm having myself two cheese strings and a pan di stelle which um, is an Italian thing, uh, not something you generally get in the shops over here as far as I know but uh, it was in my snack surprise uh, box this month, Italy. Apparently it's a real treat. Outside we have a soft sponge and inside a creamy cocoa and chocolate filling. Delicious. Um, so yeah, sounds really, really nice. Um, this is the sort of stuff I'll... I'm not, obviously not this because I'm just eating this now, but this is the sort of stuff I'll review over on Snacktube. You know, I'll stuff out of my snack surprise box. So there's foreign stuff. There's just traditional stuff. There's all kinds of stuff. I even do takeaways and all kinds of things. So um, definitely go over there and watch Snacktube. Seriously, I'm just going to keep plugging Snacktube this entire week. So sorry about that in advance. Because um, I'm really passionate about it. I, I basically upload there twice a week, every single time without fail. You know, and here on this channel, it's very much sporadic. Um, just when I can be bothered to do something like this. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to have that, and that takes me up to 997 calories. Uh, so I've got three calories left, which I could maybe have, like, a carrot or something, which uh, I'm not going to. Um, so, yeah, that'll do for the rest of the day, and, um, yeah, that should be me for the rest of the night. Well, that's the end of day one of Huel Week. All right, day. Can't complain too much. Um, the vanilla shake... Or whatever you want to call it, the vanilla huel was quite nice, so rather enjoyed that. Um, the spicy Mexican chili thing was really good, I really enjoyed that too. Um, and then dinner was nice, if you want to see what that actually was, head on over to Snack Tube. Uh, but yeah, it was, um, it was an alright day. Periods of that where I got a bit hungry, so I definitely feel like I need a snack in the middle of the day. And then I'd probably need a snack sometime after dinner as well. Um, the, the the Huel, I don't know if it's very filling, to be honest. If it's, I don't know if it's filling enough. Um, maybe I just need to, my body needs to adjust to it a bit more. Because I've just, you know, I've, I've been pretty much throwing caution to the wind with uh, <laughs> with food lately. Um, just eating and eating and eating. Oh, I don't even know if it's as much to do with being hungry if it's or if it's just boredom more than anything but i need to get those cravings under control um so yeah maybe i just need to get more time and um see how we get on for the rest of the week i might try a different tactic tomorrow um because me personally i don't normally eat breakfast anyway i usually just wait and have lunch so i might i might swap around my meals a wee bit and see see how we get on that way um, but tomorrow is going to be the first of my batch cooking. I'm going to cook stuff in batches um, so that I can freeze stuff and have myself my own homemade ready meals, basically. And, uh, yeah, I've got two recipes that I want to make. So I'll do one tomorrow and one the next day. So I'm going to go out to the shops tomorrow and get a bunch of stuff for that. So should be an interesting day, hopefully. And we'll try two completely different flavours of the Huel. So stay tuned so we can see what we're having. But that'll do for today. Uh, it's been a decent start. And uh, yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe and the wee bell to get notifications when the next one comes out, which will be tomorrow. And uh, just stay tuned and I will catch you all tomorrow for day two of Huel Week. I'll see you then. Cheers.